Securing a wig with Got To Be Glued is a great way to secure a lace front wig for all day wear. Today I'm going to be showing you two ways to secure a lace front wig with Got To Be Glued Gel for an all day stronghold, laying flat that lace and keeping that wig in place all day long. Let's go. Welcome to The Wiggy Woman, where I give you wig and hair topper reviews and tutorials to help you have the easiest path forward on your hair loss journey. Today, I am going to be walking you through how I secure my lace front wigs with Got To Be Glued Gel. I recently posted a video of me testing wigs on roller coasters, and I got a lot of comments from people asking me how I secured my wig for so much intense activity, because I did not hold back. I was going upside down. I was was doing water rides, I did high rates of speed, and that wig stayed put all day long. So I wanted to do this tutorial to show you not just how I really locked down my wig and secured it for a very intense day of roller coasters, but also how I use Got To Be Glued to secure my wig for more routine activities like maybe a day at the office. So why did I choose to secure my wig with Got To Be Glued? First, let's talk about a few of the different ways that you can secure a lace front wig. And if you wanna see a tutorial or a comparison of these different methods, for securing a wig, leave me a note in the comments and I will totally put a video together to show you all of that in detail. So I could have used a wig grip band like this one. There's also wig grip bands that have silicone in them. Um, and then there are also things like this blue tape that is also a good adhesive when you want to lock down a lace front. If I am wearing a 100% hand tied wig, I generally will opt for the got to be glued because you know, when you have a, um, a hand tied wig like this one, there's lots of places where you can kind of see through it. And I don't like that the wig grip band is visible. If I am wearing a wig that just has like a mono part, um, there is the wig grip band that I use is mostly velvet with a little strip of um, lace that kind of goes underneath your monofilament part so you don't see the wig grip band, but everywhere else there's lots of velvet. So when I have a wig like this one, I generally will lock it down with got to be glued. I also will go for got to be glued instead of a wig grip band when it is very, very hot. And right now in Southern California, it is very hot. Um, and the wig grip band, it does add a little bit more bulk to my wig where the got to be glued is just the tiniest little bit of adhesive. It keeps my wig very, very secure without adding heat. So first I'm going to start by showing you how I secure my wigs on a daily basis for something like a day at the office where I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. And for a regular day, I go for the got to be glued in the black bottle. And the reason for that is because this will dry clear and it gives me enough hold for kind of regular daily activities. Whereas the yellow bottle of got to be glued is water resistant and it actually will hold a lot better if I'm gonna be sweating or in the case of testing wigs on roller coasters, I was kind of doing water rides and I wanted that extra layer of protection. The reason that I don't use the yellow bottle all the time is because it does not dry clear. It will actually dry white. When looks matter more, then I go for this. When function matters more, I go with this. Both of them are water soluble and you know you can remove it by just you know using a damp cloth to kind of touch the areas where the, the gel is. Um, but this one is going to take a little bit more to get off, which is why it's great for intense activities. So for just everyday wear, I'm going to start with about a quarter size dollop of got to be glue and I'm going to apply it just to my hairline. I am going just a smidge in front of my actual hairline and I am making sure that I'm getting it really on the scalp in front and a little bit on my hair. I do that so that my hair stays slicked back 
but also I get a lot of security where that lace is really gonna lie, which is right in front of my actual hairline. I only do one layer of got to be glued, so I let that get tacky and I am ready to add my wig. When it's time to add my wig, I have to be a little bit more careful because that got to be glued gel, I don't want it to get all over the fibers. So I'm still going to put it around my forehead and slide it back and then I'm going to use those ear tabs and really make sure they're stuck down in that gel. And I wanna make sure that the wig is totally in position now because once that got to be glued dries, this wig is going to be locked tight. So I'm going to just adjust to make sure that that lace is falling exactly where I want it to before I really let this set. And now once that dries, I am good for a day at the office. So now I'm going to show you specifically how I secured my wig for roller coasters and really intense activities like that. I'm going to add to that first layer, which was the black bottle. I'm going to add two more dollops, about quarter size of the yellow water resistant got to be glued. And I am going to coat my hair and I'm really gonna get it down into my scalp and everything um, all the way down to the crown. So I'm really getting a lot of got to be glued in my hair and I am doing this because there are no clips and there are no combs in this wig. It's 100% hand tied. So the only thing that is going to secure it to my head besides the construction of the wig is the got to be glued. So once I have it in position, I am going to really mush the ear tabs into that got to be glued, but I am also going to really, you know, get as much of that got to be glued on the lace of the cap as well so that it is really, really stuck in there. I'm just using my fingertips so that I don't get as much of the got to be glued on the fiber. There are probably a hundred ways to use got to be glued to secure a lace front wig, but this worked for me through eight hours of very intense roller coasters. I did put a link in the description to all of the products that I use here today, including Rachel here by John Renault, who is such a trooper, made it through an entire day of roller coasters. Still looks pretty decent, although she's a little bit angry and needs a bath. I also put a link to the both of the kinds of got to be glued, as well as many of the other ways that you can use to secure a lace front wig. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please give it a thumbs thumbs up so that I know that you want to see more tutorials like this one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you never miss a wig or hair topper review or tutorial that's posted weekly. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.